Maybe this is why you can't sleep at night. Scientists say looking at digital devices at night could be ruining our sleep. According to a study, blue light emitted by electronic devices, including smartphones, tablets, and flat screen TVs, has a detrimental effect on sleep quality. Blue light is also emitted by the sun. It activates cells in the eyes that suppress the body's production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep. The study found that subjects who wore glasses to block blue light at night experienced a 50% increase in melatonin levels and reported better sleep. The authors of the study recommend people should wear blue light blocking glasses at night and switch electronic devices to night mode. Doing that, they say, is the secret to a good night's sleep. Study finds using tablets for bedtime reading wrecks your sleep. Using certain e-readers or tablets in bed late at night leads to poorer quality sleep, a recent study from Harvard Medical School found. The study found that blue light emitted by certain electronic devices lowers the production of melatonin, the hormone which regulates the body's sleep. During the study, those using e-readers and tablets instead of books took one and a half hours longer to fall asleep. Their REM sleep, which is critical to memory consolidation, was also shortened. Despite having the same amount of sleep, those using light-emitting electronic readers felt groggier and more tired than those who read a book before bed. Scientists advise people to minimize the use of such devices before bedtime, especially in teenagers who need more sleep than adults. This robot pillow could be the key to a good night's sleep. A group of robotics and engineering students from the Netherlands have created a robot pillow, which they say improves sleep quality. The robot pillow, dubbed Somnox, is equipped with multiple high sensitivity sensors and an artificial intelligence algorithm. The pillow can interpret whether the user is awake or in a deep sleep. The robot then uses the data to create a breathing rhythm that can induce the user to sleep within minutes. In the morning, the pillow emits a gradually increasing light to wake the user up. Somnox is still in the prototype phase, and it is not yet known when it will be available to buy. Smart beds can stop you from snoring. A Minneapolis mattress company unveiled a smart bed at the Las Vegas Consumer Electronics Show that can help prevent users from snoring, thus eliminating the chances of them disturbing their partners in their sleep. The smart bed is able to raise the temperature at the foot of the mattress before users get into bed. Research has shown people fall asleep faster when their feet are warm. The bed is able to continually track heart rates, motions, and breathing. It also automatically adjusts depending on the user's position. An underbed mechanism automatically lights up if users get out of the bed in the middle of the night. To prevent users from snoring, the bed is designed to slightly raise the user's head to clear his or her airway when it detects the sound of snoring. It also traces bedtime routines and helps wake up the user when they've reached the lightest stage of sleep. Other gadgets unveiled at the show included an automated beer brewing machine, a smart frying pan that can track the content of food being cooked, and a device that can turn any computer into a touchscreen. Sleeping pods allow people to catch some shut-eye, pretty much anywhere. Google is famously known for these babies, but they're not the only company that allows workers to sleep at work. With the London Olympics approaching back in 2012, one local English company anticipated that heavy traffic would affect employees' commutes. So the company built sleeping pods that allowed employees to sleep in the office with privacy. These sleeping pods included a single mattress, while more advanced models also featured a stereo and a mirror. And now people can also choose to sleep with some privacy and dignity at airports instead of sprawling across several seats in front of gawking onlookers. Abu Dhabi International Airport was the first airport in the world to offer sleeping pods in 2013, although the service has since extended to many other airports worldwide, from Dallas-Fort Worth to London Gatwick. Abu Dhabi's Go Sleep sleeping pods allow users to lie completely flat. Each pod is able to partly or fully block out sounds in the busy airport, depending on the user's preference. Later stage pods will offer Wi-Fi access, power sockets for charging electronic devices, and space to store luggage under the cushion. 
The ghost sleeve sleeping pods can be rented out for about 12 US dollars an hour, or about the price of three coffees. As we grow more aware of the myriad of health issues that come with sleep deprivation, sleeping pods seem increasingly desirable. Bed It Smart is designed to give people tips on how to sleep better. Researchers at Bedit are trying to convert ordinary beds into smart beds with the development of a sleep tracker, which works with an ultra-thin sensor that is placed between the bed sheet and mattress. Dean Tucker is vice president of sales and marketing at Bedit, and according to him... You just lay on it, you don't have to wear anything, you don't have to turn anything on, you just go to sleep and it tracks your sleep. The sensor measures heart rate, respiration and movement while a microphone on their user's mobile device detects snoring. We're using a piezoelectric sensor. It literally is a microphone. And so what we're able to do is look at the, the way your body creates the, the electrical impulses through the sensor. We can measure respiration. So we can measure, for instance, upper respiration, abdominal respiration. But as your heart beats, what happens is there's these little micro um, movements that your body creates. So we're able to actually measure the displacement of the heart as it beats because the heart moves like that so it's, it's really measuring the muscle itself. The system connects to a mobile device app that allows users to see their daily scorecard which includes tips on how to improve their sleep. We're able to tell the difference between the person sleeping next to you and, the, and you sleeping on the sensor because think of it as like amplitude so we're measuring this big signal that's you and we're throwing out the noise that's all this little stuff that's going on in the background. The system is also programmed with a smart alarm that wakes up the user based on whether or not they have gotten enough sleep. But it costs $149.95 and recently launched its first Apple Watch app.